it's not enough to be angry for your friends. If you can't imagine walking in your friend's skin, I don't know how you can call yourself a friend. Nambi is a very complicated, beautifully flawed, strong, but sensitive individual who goes through these different lifetimes trying to find herself. It's a non-linear play in the sense that the characters come in and out of different spaces and times. You see those that have come into and gone out of her life and who've affected her. She's looking to be seen by them and be seen as a whole person. The play actually did start in a way with the murder of a young Black Lives Matter activist back in June of last year. I just kept coming back to this question about identity and not being either fully woman or fully Black when issues arise. There's the theme of a Black queer woman's space uh, in American society, as well as self-discovery. Through the course of the play, Nambi is trying to embrace her own power. I think everybody should watch it. Everybody, no matter what walk of life, can learn something very profound. And I think even more so, I think women of color need to see this and realize how much power we actually have. I am nervous and tickled by the title, um, but it couldn't be anything other than what it is. You know, those are the two camps you fall into when you're born into this body. And it is meant as a challenge. It's a war of words uh, or a war begun in words. And I hope that people are open for the journey.